Hello folks, uh, this is Chris Long, VK3 Alpha, Mike Lima, VK3 AML, ham radio station in the eastern suburbs of Melbourne in Australia saying hello. And we're currently being televised obviously on a 32 line television scanning system, scanning at 12 and a half pictures per second. Why do we do this? Well, it's not to make grotty old pictures that were like television was in the 20s, although we have picked up a lot of our techniques from the original mechanical television standards used in the 20s. For example, this um, portrait vertical format of the picture and the scanning lines is adapted from John Logie Baird's original TV system. And we use it because it means that a head and shoulders subject will occupy more pixels than it would if the picture was the standard 3-4 aspect ratio horizontal landscape format. But to optimise the quality of the pictures for black and white, um, the optimum gamma, grayscale gamma, of the reproduced picture should be slightly higher than 1. And uh, we can do that by fiddling the gamma control on the webcam that's shooting me now. And by raising the gamma, this is the effect. And there, after a rather clumsy jump cut, you see the effect of raised gamma on the pictures. Uh, I suppose it depends to some extent on the contrast range of the original scene. But uh, generally we've found that a gamma at greater than one is superior for reproducing colour images, colour originals, in black and white. This was actually applied as uh, standard theory in black and white photography, where you develop the negative to be slightly greater than 0.5 and the print to be a gamma of 2, um, thereby reproducing a grayscale that's not entirely natural but is more pleasing, compensating in contrast for the lack of colour information. Now we can also uh, increase the sharpening of a webcam feeding into this standards conversion system and I'll hit the sharpening control now. Okay, so here's the picture with uh, high frequency boost applied or crispening control applied from the webcam. In other words, with high frequency video boost applied on the input side of the uh, 32 line standards conversion software. We can also apply high frequency boost to the 32 line video after it's been standards converted and the effect of that is as you will see now. Okay we've now applied full high frequency boost into and out of the standards conversion software. Uh, I suspect that high frequency boost of this order was also done by the Baird Television Company when they used to run uh, uh, video signals on medium wave, uh, 700 kilohertz, back um, between 1929 and 1935 when they transmitted pictures of this type over the broadcast band in Britain. Um, the uh, uh, excessive high frequency boost may not be entirely uh, natural looking uh, on a what effectively amounts to a studio monitor offline which you're seeing at the moment but um, when you transmit these pictures through uh, a noise environment such as RF we have transmitted these pictures on 160 meters on an AM transmitter recently as you've probably seen from this YouTube channel um, some high frequency boost is desirable to overcome sideband cutting and other high frequency losses in the video chain, uh, not the least of which being um, the poor lens quality in many uh, webcams needs to be compensated for with some high frequency boost in the system. At the moment we've got maximum HF boost, but this gives you some idea of the quality of which a 32 line picture is capable and I think you'll find that it's a lot greater than people uh, gave, in many cases, John Logie Baird credit for. Certainly uh, produces enough definition for you to uh, mm, recognise me if you'd met me in the street. And I hope someday you have that, that opportunity. 
This is VK3AML, um, concluding a test of 32-line television. hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's an interesting subject. The Narrowband Television Association in Britain has a website and a forum um, on www.nbtv.org. I hope you'll go there and have a look and hopefully also subscribe to their magazine. And should you be in the southeastern corner of Australia and have the opportunity to listen to the Saturday night transmissions of VK3ASE, Dave or myself, uh, we hope to have an occasional transmission of this type of narrowband television on 160 metres. Thanks for watching.